This video is made possible by Brilliant. Learn complex topics simply by being one of the first 200 to sign up at brilliant.org slash real life lore. This item right here is a Jet 26x80 geared head engine lathe. I genuinely have no idea what it does, but it just so happens to be the heaviest single object that Amazon will ship to you for free. It costs $35,000 and it literally weighs more than two Toyota Corollas do. But that won't stop Amazon from delivering it right to your front door for free if you really ever want. Want one. It's probably the single stupidest thing that you could drunk order off of Amazon after a long day. But as unbelievably heavy as it would be, it's still not anywhere near the heaviest object that has ever been shipped in the mail for free. Because back in 2005, UBS received a very strange request to priority overnight ship a group of whales. And even more strangely, they agreed to do it for free. Eccentric billionaire, possible Bond villain, and Home Depot co-founder Bernard Marcus wanted to see some whales in Atlanta which has the tiny problem of being 267 miles away from the ocean. So, he donated $250 million of his own money towards the opening of the Georgia Aquarium in Atlanta, which was set to become the largest aquarium anywhere in the world at its opening. And as the centerpiece of the entire facility, the aquarium designed the world's largest tank to house their primary stars, a group of giant whale sharks, which would make them the only aquarium outside of Asia to have them. There were only a few minor problems with this ambition, though. A. Whale sharks are big. Like, really big. B. They're also alive, you know, and probably won't enjoy being picked up and put in a box like they're an Alexa, let alone be put on an airplane and overnighted. And C. The whale sharks that they bought were located on basically the other side of the planet in Taiwan, over 8,000 miles away from Atlanta. Now, the aquarium did have a certain favor that they could call upon to help them out. While the Home Depot guy made by far the most generous contribution to the aquarium, local Atlanta-based UPS wanted to pitch in as well, and offered them free shipping for anything that they might need to help get started. But by saying free shipping on anything, the aquarium took that to mean literally anything. And so they called on UPS to help them out with their little project of shipping live whales from one side of the planet over to the other. Now, I know that whale sharks aren't technically whales. They're sharks that are as big as whales, hence the name. But they're still freaking huge. Huge. The two whale sharks that UPS were tasked with shipping were kids, but they were still 16 feet long and weighed up to 2,000 pounds each. And when they're fully grown, they're more like 33 feet long and weigh 20,000 pounds. Way heavier than an African elephant is. They're truly gigantic animals, and they're also harder to transport than an elephant, because if you transport them without being in water, they die. Water is super, super heavy, and it's just an additional component that UPS had to factor in with their calculations here. Nobody had ever shipped a marine animal this big before in an airplane, so nobody really had any idea of what they were doing at all in the beginning. The aquarium had purchased the whale sharks out of Taiwan's annual fishing kill quota, so yeah, if the aquarium hadn't bought them, they would have been eaten. The whale sharks were being held in an ocean pen on the coast near a small regional airport in the south of Taiwan, and when the UPS logistics team showed up to survey it, they realized that the runway nearby just wasn't gonna work. It was too weak to support the weight of a 747 loaded with a couple of big fish. So here's what they did instead. They began by using some cranes with a sling to capture the two whale sharks out of their pen and place them in two individual custom-made shipping containers. The containers were 24 feet long by 8 feet wide and filled with a 2,000 pound whale shark plus water and life support systems, which made the total weight of each container a approximately 25,000 pounds. The two tanks were then loaded onto a turboprop Lockheed C-130 and flown up to the International Airport at Taipei for the transfer aboard the bigger 747. As the C-130 pulled up to the gate adjacent to the 747, the 747 was already fueled up and ready for takeoff, but they had to figure out where to place the big tanks inside of it. After multiple calculations, the UPS logistics team decided upon a method of bringing one tank into the plane's nose, the second tank into the back, and then simultaneously slowly move the two tanks together towards the plane's natural point of balance over the main landing gear before bolting them both down to the floor. 
The crew were instructed to take off and land slow and shallow, so as not to stress out their special passengers too greatly. But by this point, time was the biggest enemy of the operation. They couldn't afford any delays with the whale sharks because they were constantly pooping and pissing inside of their small tanks and fouling up their limited water. It's not like you can replace 20,000 plus pounds of water when you're flying in a jet up in the air. Even a short delay could have resulted in one of their deaths. And the journey from Taipei to Atlanta was over 17 hours hours long. So UBS brought aboard an entire team of skilled veterinarians, carpenters, and marine biologists to ensure that the trip went smoothly. The 747 took off from Taipei and had to land in Anchorage first for a fish and wildlife inspection because, you know, you can't just fly a whale from one side of the world to the other without the proper paperwork. They had a crew change and continued on from there to Atlanta safely, where the whale shark containers were unloaded, placed onto flatbed trucks, and driven from the airport to their new home in the aquarium all alive and in in one piece. UPS achieved something that nobody had ever done before. The Mad Men actually shipped live gigantic whales in a plane from one side of the world to the other and all overnight, and it only took six weeks of planning and came with a shipping cost of $1.4 million. Not all that bad of a price at all when you consider that UPS did all of it for the aquarium for free. Of course, if you want to figure out a way to ship your own gigantic marine animal to your house, you'll not only need a pretty big tank that's probably going to have to be bigger than your entire house is, but you'll also need a solid understanding of multiple mathematical concepts for your logistics calculations. And there's no better place to start learning exactly that than on Brilliant. Math is, of course, a pretty daunting subject that I have personally struggled with my entire life. And unfortunately, a lot of places and websites will just teach you individual mathematics concepts without teaching you the principles that link them all together. Brilliant, however, is truly different. They focus on those fundamentals by teaching them in an approachable, intuitive way that really helps you understand how to use what you end up learning later on. So you can start with a beginner course like Mathematical Fundamentals and easily move on from there to more advanced courses like Algebra, Geometry, Calculus, and even beyond. But Brilliant's interactive mathematics courses are just some of their many fantastic courses. So if you want to learn complex topics easily, it's totally worth checking them out. To learn more about Brilliant, go to brilliant.org slash lore and sign up for free, but then the first 200 people that go to that link will also get 20% off of their annual premium subscription. And as always, thank you for watching.